Welcome to LOA Today. I'm Walt Thiessen. With me today are Janine B. and Bridget D. This is your Daily Dose of Happy. We are so happy you decided to join us today. And I have to tell you, ladies, I'm actually feeling <laughs> good lately because we're nearing the end of the gardening season. I was going to ask Ooh. you about that. Yeah. yeah. yeah we were nice. like two days away. Friday's the day. Mm. Yeah. This, oh, and, and, and I had an experience yesterday, which was kind of interesting. I, I mean, my days have been pretty consistent, and as they usually are throughout the season. It's particularly intense during the spring, and then it kind of settles down a little bit. But it's still pretty busy every day. And then yesterday, I got to around 10 o'clock, and I ran out of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, a that's not the way this is working, right? This, I'm always working on this. What's going on here? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going through a bit of a transition there, and I'm liking it. Okay. I mean, it, it's different. It's a little uncomfortable because it's different, but I'm liking it. It's kind of a cool oh, thing. So cool. it, it kind of made me think about some of the stuff that we talk about in the Thai boot camp, which we're all still in. Janine's just on the verge of graduating, but not quite uh, through that particular door yet. So it seems like appropriate to kind of talk about that stuff. And what you talk about, and Bridge, you're almost up there where you are in the modules. You're moving along really quickly, though, I have to say. But um, but you're almost up to the point where you start really doing the big dreaming about where do you want to be and what do you want to have yes. happen in your life and all that kind of stuff. Yes. You're really close to that section. That's the section I'm on right now. And I thought, why not make a show about that? What is it that we dream for? What is it that we're looking for? What is it that we're hoping is going to happen with our lives mm. and, and that we're going to make our lives into mm -hmm. as we finish passing through the boot camp? So that's all. That's yes. my, my thought for the day. But Oh, we have a dreaming LOA today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So well, I just, I, I just went back and I, and I looked at like my, um, uh, my code, you know, and I'm rewriting my code. And it's interesting because some of the things I wrote down have already come to pass. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So it's like, it's really cool how that works. So it's mm -hmm. like, Oh yes, it's definitely time to rewrite this. It's like, okay, everything I said and <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but the big dreaming. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fun. It is I fun. Have, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm excited about this. We, we were talking before about how people, when they get toward the end, they don't want to leave. And I can understand why. I'm on module 14 out of 17, which is mm -hmm. pretty much near the end. And module 14 is where you really start doing the big dreaming. And you're supposed to do it pretty much every day during the time that you're on that module. Well, I've been on that module for a week, and I don't want to leave it. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to stick with it for a few more days. Just keep enjoying it. I, I know I I've kind of peaked at 15, and 15, you actually continue the process. But I'm, I'm not ready to go there yet. I, I want to keep doing it on 14 for a bit. So I'm, I'm going to do that. But it's been interesting doing this at the same time that we're wrapping up the gardening season. It, the mm -hmm. dovetail is perfect on this. It is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. I, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised about that, but nevertheless, that's, it's dovetailing perfectly. And it's also dovetailing with this other project that I've got my programmer working on. I got my, my latest report from him yesterday, I think it was, and he's making good progress. And he, he actually thought he'd be done by now. I knew that wasn't going to be the case. I know a little bit about programming and you don't get a big project done in three weeks, but nevertheless, he's making some good progress. That's the main thing. So. I can just see that one kind of coming in as you know, the gardening season kind of wanes away because our last day is Friday. That means all I do after that is you know, catch up on collections and file the taxes and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm pretty much done for the year. And at the same time, I also need to work on the LOA Today app. So people who've been waiting for the app to be fixed, I'm actually going to be able to get to it now. This is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is it's all dovetailing so beautifully. And... I didn't really anticipate that, but it's nice. Yeah. And I want my life to keep going like that. So when your business uh, at the end of October, the business is done, like it shuts down until spring. pretty much. Yeah. I mean, the, the, okay. the crew get laid off. Um, some of them take unemployment, others take a second job. Um, and then we pick it up again in April. Um, and then, yeah, we're off for the winter. So I suppose I'm not used to that because here there is no winter in Phoenix. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, you know, in, in, in a lot of ways, we just start ramping it, ramping up because mm -hmm. this is when things really grow. Here. Right. This, this is, is when you can go out your, to enjoy it too. This is when your grass go, will grow like, you know, you, you we plant the rye, the winter rye and that comes up and mm -hmm. it's already sprouted and everything's green still. And, 
that's when you know the weeds will start coming and there's there is no rest here for for the garden it's just ramps up and in the the summers are slow time yeah so. well it has to be other that otherwise you roast and that's not healthy for anybody <laughs> including the plants time. by the way <laughs> <laughs> So what are your, what's your big thing then, Walt? What's your next big thing? Well, it's interesting because I, I was journaling about that. Um, Bridge, I'll, I'll give you the, the clue. What, what you do in module 14 is, is you, um, you basically start dreaming big dreams. So you get yourself into a high vibe space using the tools that Taya has given you. And then once you're there, you, you just dream and dream and dream. You do it for like an hour at a time and you do it every single day. Oh, yeah. you know, so it's very intensive and, I, I've actually done it for two days. I did it as part of my nature walk, which is an hour long walk. So that's perfect. Um, then today I, I was doing it as a journaling exercise and I actually only got 20 minutes into it and then I got interrupted by something. So I have to get back to it. But even in that 20 minutes, man, the things that you, you just, you, the stuff just kind of pours out of my head, you know, all the different things I want to do. So I, I want to travel. I, I, I want to, uh, we, we want to have our own home. We haven't been able to, we've been renters all this time. We want to get our own mm. home. Um, I, I have dreams for uh, this new business that uh, I'm trying to kick off that my program is helping me with. I, the input that I've gotten about it so far from people in the know has been really good. Dan Mangana, who, of course, is nice. you know, a millionaire himself and so forth. He told me that based on his read of it, this thing's going to be a million dollar business within six months. Um, I mean, it's it's exciting. It's exciting. Oh, that's and, amazing. And that basically Absolutely. says to me, freedom. Right. That means this, this is where I get the freedom to do everything I've always wanted to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, my anticipation level right now is really high and I'm liking that's it. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it's not yeah. forced either. That's the other thing that's nice about it. There have been times in the past where I was able to get myself to a high place and kind of try to imagine myself feeling that level of anticipation. But did I really believe it deep down? Oh, maybe not. Not so yeah. much. Now I believe it. That's a big difference. Really big difference. I mean, I'll and tell you one of the things I wanted. Oh, go ahead. Is that, that due to Taya? That Partly you have sure. like more? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Taya's definitely played a role That's in right. it. I mean, it, awesome. it's, Taya is like an extension of what I've been doing for years now. Yeah. It's like, you know, the next level of self development. And right. it's been great for that. Um, but ultimately it's, it's, it's just an ongoing, trend that I've been building in my life that's gotten better and better. And I, I think I finally reached that tipping point people talk about. I think that's really what's going on with this thing. Um, but it's good. It's really good. Some of the things I've been dreaming about, I'll, I'll tell you one thing I'm dreaming about. Um, I'm dreaming about having this huge amount of money coming in and we can do all kinds of stuff with it. But one of the things I want to do is I want to feed it back to help people who don't have financial means to do the same kind of work we've been doing. Yeah. Mm. And I want to bring them in at whatever level they're at. I mean, like with boot camp, you guys know you can't really get into boot camp unless you really come to appreciate. Yeah, okay, I create everything in my life. That's and that's a tough one. That's a tough. Yeah. One. Well, and, and that's 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 where I think you you might run into, you know, like you mean you want. Let me just clarify. You want Taya to be available for those who. No, 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 no. No. Okay, no. I'm conf I'm just a little confused. I, no, I'm well, sorry. understandable, understandable. Yes. Um, no, I, I, I would not want to do anything to monkey around with what David's put together. Exactly. I yeah, I was. I didn't think that's that was right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, but I have. To I just want to expand <laughs> my horizon a bit. I, okay. For instance, I mean, Taya is a great program. It's not the only program that's out there, mm -hmm. and I can't say I have run into anybody who has a really great program for somebody who's more at the beginner level. I mean, maybe you could say the movie The Secret or something like that, but that's you know, it, it's mm -hmm. pretty good. Um, I, I can't even tell you yet that I know exactly what that level looks like, hmm. but I have some feeling of it so far, and I'm sure it's going to develop over time in my mind. Part of it is what we do here, only yeah. aimed at a different audience, at the audience of people who are skeptical, at the audience okay. of people who are just kind of checking this out and poo-pooing it and, oh, you know, it's a bunch of woo-woo nonsense and so forth. But what draws them in is we have, like here, we have a lot of fun doing this. Yeah. I'm thinking, what can right. we do to take it to the 10th degree so that anybody watching this is having fun regardless of what they believe about it? Yeah. So that becomes the hook to draw them in. And then once we've drawn them in, then we're doing various things. I don't know exactly what yet that help them to challenge their own okay. victimhood status, I guess is the best way you could put it. Yeah. That's the thing. A lot of people don't yeah. see themselves as 
that right. they're in that victimhood state and they're not looking at it like that. Or if they hear that they may be doing that, it's like, I'm not, no, I'm not, exactly. you know, it's, it's offensive in a way to people um, when they haven't realized, you know, certain That's things. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah. so you obviously can't say, Hey, you're a victim. That's obviously not going to work. Not people. to certain, yeah. Certain yeah. people who are not ready to hear that yet. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. But they might be ready yeah. and willing to hear, hear stuff that's fun. Here's yeah. Stuff mm-hmm. that feels Who's good. Not? They, they might be interested in that. Yeah. If they're really deep into the, into the, the drama, then they're probably not even going to listen to anything. But if mm-hmm. they're willing to listen to at least some degree, I'm, I'm talking about the person who first got, you no, know, they, they first heard about the secret and they watched the movie. Mm-hmm. That's the level I'm talking about. They yeah. haven't accepted anything yet, but they're intrigued. Yeah. Well, I think there's something that we can be doing for those people to help them along. Oh, definitely. And, and some of them will have the means to move themselves along. That's great. But for those who don't, what I want to do is I want to basically invest in them on a sort of pay it forward basis. So, you know, person X comes into a program Y that helps that level of person. And let's say that program costs a thousand dollars. Okay. So I put a thousand dollars in to pay for their program. And then when they graduate and basically prove to themselves that works, they pay for the next thousand. Hmm. Oh, that would be, that so would they, be ba- cool. they basically invest in the next person and, and now it becomes a, cont- it's yeah. like almost like a chain letter, right? I invest yeah. in you, you invest in the next person, they invest in the next person and so on and so forth. And you do that often enough, all of a sudden we're reaching large numbers of people. Hmm. Yeah. As oh. long as, as long as they're right, like they're vibrationally ready to hear that. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Because what you're going to do is, is you, you're going to pay for somebody who doesn't complete it or doesn't show up or doesn't, you know, if, if that, if that energy is not in the right place, right? If, if the, if the person is exactly. not ready for it. And, so. and that's something that you, I'm not even sure how we do that yet. Got it. You're just working out the details. I, I haven't even begun to work out the details. I'm sketching mm. out the broad picture. And I don't even have that part done Got yet. It. <laughs> it's Got a it. cool idea though. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. And, and yeah. it does, it takes away the one thing that is always the biggest objection. Well, I can't afford it. Yeah. That's the one that always gets trotted out. I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Blah, 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 blah. Well, what if you're paid for up front? Right. But no. that's still, the, that's still a certain vibration that maybe somebody's not, it's like they have to come to it. Oh, well, some won't. Own, some, right? some won't be ready for that under any circumstance. Mm-hmm. And I don't delude myself into thinking that this is going to, you know, just sweep the world. Mm-hmm. I think it's actually still going to be a minority of people who are willing to actually take even the most basic baby steps. But, you know, why not help them? That's the way I look at it. Why not help them? Well, chances are, if they're listening to this podcast, they're probably on that vibrational level. But if they're listening to this podcast, yeah. they're way past that level. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 <laughs> we have very advanced listeners they here. You. They get <laughs> yes. you. No, they get you. They get you. They get this. They get what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah and that's no doubt about it. yeah, that's yeah. that's definitely important. And it, um, every one of them, to one degree or another, has already done a lot of work on themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't be interested in listening. Right. What would be the point? <laughs> yeah, it, it's interesting because this kind of reminds me of something that's happened recently. So I, I often, I just, I love taking cuttings of things that I have and sort of putting it on the next door app. You know, hey, I, on the gardening group, hey, I have cuttings of uh, uh, sugar cane if you want sugar cane, and and sometimes I have to trim my bay leaf because it it goes a little crazy and. And so I did. I, I I cut a few a few pieces of bay leaf. You don't need a lot of bay leaf, right? I mean, it, it goes a long way. A little bit oh, goes yeah. a long way. And um, I got this one woman. I, I want all of it. She says, "Well, I said there's other people wanting it. Okay, but I want as much as you have." And it's like, okay, it it's off, right? It, it's it feels off because here's a person that just wants wants you know wants to take wants to take wants to take. And, 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 and and I'm wondering where, like, where my vibration is with this. And it wasn't just once she's texted me, like, or messaged me twice on the app. Like, do you have more? This is just like last week, (laughs) (laughs) you know, and, and, and I'm I'm more than happy to share as soon as I I trim again, Hmm. but it's, I, I run into this from very infrequently time to time. It's, it's the. It doesn't matter what you offer for free. The hand is always there. And, and it just, it, it makes me turn away from that. It, I just will. So I, maybe it's an intention thing. I need to set my intention that to meet 
the people because part of it, I do it part partly to meet other people too mm -hmm. and into gardening and who are into doing this kind of stuff too and but um but that like it, it, it has what you're for me, at least maybe it's the vibration I'm in right now, but it, because I am a little, a little wonky, a little DTS, but it almost has that same, like that same energy, that same feeling of, um, expectation or vibration of, um, um, you give me. And I, I don't know. I, I, that just resonated with me. Like when you were talking, when you were telling me this and this woman came up in my, in my, I, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that vibration is coming from, but I'm throwing it out there. Th am I clear that, 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 that somebody keeps, you know, you're giving something away for free and, and they want more and they want more and they want more. And it's just like, I try to look at it like, of course they would, because my, whatever you have to offer is so good. <laughs> you gotta see what you want to keep doing. coming back to you. My cat listeners can't see, but she's putting no, her just... hands up to the, up to the camera going, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Go away. Um, yeah, that, that's the feeling I get. It's just like, so there's something in my vibration that I, that I attracted that. So, and when you were telling the story about what you want to do about paying it forward, it's, and instead of thinking Starbucks line, which is really cool because you buy somebody a drink and, you know, mm -hmm. the person behind you and then, then they buy the person a drink behind them. And then, you know, it's like a really cool chain. Instead of thinking that I thought of plant lady. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. about the, but the hands out wanting more, it's like, and kind of demanding about it too, like mm -hmm. go out of your way to make me happy. And then, and so I'm going to look at that vibration and what, what, what that's showing yeah, me. I, that's a good idea. I think, um, especially if it's, if it's vibrating negatively for you, you certainly want to find a way to detune it and make it something that you can appreciate. So that's good. I would say that's very good. It may help you in terms of what I'm talking about. If you understand that from my perspective, if I can just get 1% of the population mm -hmm. who are interested, just 1%, 1% of the world population is 78 million people. Mm. And if some small percentage of that are willing to do it, I'm willing to, I mean, we're not talking, you know, mm. a huge percentage of the overall world population here. We're talking about a little tiny subset. So right, yeah, right. there's a lot of room for um, being a bit choosy about mm -hmm. who gets in and selective. And I think a lot of that selectiveness comes through where we come from ourselves. So like you said, I mean, if we're in a not totally aligned state, probably not the best time to try to decide, is this person the right brain person to bring in? <laughs> I think that's where I'm at right now. It's not quite an aligned state. So I know what I'm going to be doing later. <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> Meditating, getting some low thought activity going on. Some, you know, get, get back up my spiral a little bit, but being on here, it's, it's, it's a guarantee for me. As soon as, as soon as we're, we're finished, I mean, my vibrations already feeling, you know, like it's, like it's going up. So it's, cool. uh, thanks guys. Yeah. Like the well, vibration thank you. Thank you. I know, right? Yeah. Cause you're the one raising the vibration We're we're encouraging you, but you're the one who's doing it for yourself. <laughs> so well done. Really well done. Can, can I ask you something about, cause you, like I said, you're on the verge of graduating. So you've already been through modules 14, 15, 16, 17 is basically the graduation module. Um, and in those, you're, you're spending a lot of time focusing on what your big dream is. Can you share anything about your big dream? Well, I did a little bit. I, I, I haven't, I'm not, the details just aren't like really fleshed out. You know, yeah. I would really, I would really like, um, to get more into my business with, with doing dual. I'm actually, I've actually started that. Oh, you uh, have? Yeah. I actually oh. started not the business part. Um, but, uh, I, I think I, I think I explained how I, Online, I, I saw a woman, uh, I met a, a woman who, 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 who pointed me in the direction of a hospice that practices what I, with the, with the dualship, the end of life dualship. And, and I fit right in. Uh, I have one more, um, uh, one more volunteer day with her. And then I get to start actually working with people. So cool. right now my, my empire is just helping. Yeah. It's, it's in the helping and the money will come. Because, yeah. you know, it will, it will come because the people are coming. Like I said, mm -hmm. people just sort of, they call me out of the blue and, and they're not, they don't, they're not even knowing that they're looking for me. Right. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> that's cool awesome. how that works. By the way, that was, I went back and reread my, um, my, uh, 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 code and I put that on my code mm -hmm. that, I want, okay. that I want people to reach out 
to me. I want people to, 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 to look for me. That that's, that's, I want, I want people to want to the, 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 but I didn't put details. I just said, I want people to reach out to me wanting what I, what I provide, you know, the, the services I provide and, and that's been happening. So it, it really cool. does work. It's yeah. totally, it's totally cool. It does work. Um, and for, for listeners who don't know what we're talking about, the, the code that you're referring to is you actually kind of rewrite your personal operating system code as part of the right. Taya Bootcamp experience. And that's what she's talking about, how she wrote it, rewrote it to have a different kind of experience. And now she's getting the experience before she's even graduated, which is really good. Yeah, it's there, there's been a lot of that. And just going back and looking at some of the stuff I've written and see that I've actually like made it happen. So I, I believe I've really begun this. I'm definitely on the way to where I want to be with working mm. with people who are, are dying and more and more and intentionally too, not just um, inadvertently, because when you're a caregiver for senior citizens, it, it's, it's almost inevitable that you might have someone pass away while you're with them. But, sure. but for it to happen the first time and the second time you've ever done it, <laughs> it's <laughs> a pretty strong indication that you're supposed, mm -hmm. this is something you're supposed to do. Right. So, uh, it's, it's there. There's well, depending on how you feel about it. I mean, you obviously are very passionate about it. You feel really good about it. So if you have oh, an experience where you're feeling really good, then yeah, absolutely. It's, a, it's totally a sign. This is perfect for you. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 And, and I want to actually come at it from an energetic point of view and market myself as a, more of an energetic, uh, because sometimes I, I, I actually have, have helped my clients to heal too. I, I did some Reiki work with a, with a, a senior citizen who was very open-minded. She was beautiful. I mean, her legs were literally shaking. Now I'm a Reiki master. So Reiki, so energy is just, it's very, it's something that I'm very familiar with actually mm -hmm. hands-on energy. I mean, her, her legs were literally shaking mm -hmm. uh, when I was doing a session with her. And after the session, uh, she just, be, she began to heal immediately. And and in two weeks, she didn't even need me anymore as, wow. as a helper. That's awesome. So, so it could go either way, depending mm -hmm. on what somebody's intentions, you know, if, if they want to pass away, I can help them. If they want to heal, I can help them. Not that I'm just facilitating, yeah. right? Right. I'm facilitating their own healing and it's sure. their own intention to either get better or to, to, to not, or to, well, we don't want to say it's, it's, bad because it's reuniting with who we are when we pass away is just reuniting with the whole of who we are. So it's mm -hmm. not really a, it's not a negative. It can be really seen as a positive. Sure. And, but I will tell you right now I'm, I'm going through, um, uh, there's a, a couple of people very close to me and my family who are very doing very well, um, and need operations. And so it, it's, it's been, uh, in, in, it's been very um, hard, I will say, to to keep myself because of the flow of the energy around me and who I'm around right now. It's uh, I, I'm actually helping. It feels like a couple my family members to pass. So I have people oh who are who are they're not actively dying, but mm -hmm. they're they're very close. And, and so, and, I, and for a week now, I've been wondering, what is this energy I'm feeling? Why am I feeling this heavy energy? And it's the same energy I feel when I'm working with someone who is, who is getting ready to transition. Mm -hmm. And okay. so I, I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going this route and I'm not going to say who or give any exact sure. details. But, uh, when I looked, when I really discovered this yesterday, it was like, well, of course, of course. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing all the, the healthcare, um, I'm doing all, I'm doing the shop now helping with the shopping and, and, and that too. So there's a lot of that kind of stress too. So mm -hmm. the stress of losing someone physically or a couple of someone's in my case right now. And, and also the, the other burdens that come with that too. So, so I think that really helped raise my vibration a little bit to know that, that where I'm at is, is perfectly okay. It's really mm. perfectly okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then on top of that, working with other people who are dying as well. So it's, <laughs> it's pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're smiling as you're telling about it. So it's that's pretty how heavy. we know. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's like, I'm kind of made for this. 
and, and I'm going to throw a question uh, up from Jeffrey. Jeffrey's been throwing some cool comments in the live stream, but oh, he has a question cool. here. He says, Janine, can you talk more about how you hold people during the grieving process? I, I acknowledge where they're at. Yeah, this sucks. This really sucks. It's got to be. It's horrible. You were married for so long. You were married mm. for 50 years, 60 years to somebody. Of course, it's horrible losing someone. And, and so I, I, I think I'm, I just try to hold space for, for the family members and for the, uh, Jeffrey and for the person who is actively dying, um, and just acknowledging where they're at. Uh, I, I also, I, I'm not afraid to say, um, Hey, look, this sucks what you're going through. Here's my number. Call me anytime you want to call me or me saying to them, um, I don't, like when somebody loses somebody that they love, you know, it, it sucks to be in your situation. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. There's nothing I can say to make you feel better. I'm not here to try to, to do that. I'm here to be a person that can help you in whatever way you need that help, whatever that looks like for you. So, so um, we can never take someone's grief away and it's not our, it's not our place to do that. That's our own. That's where we're at. Right. That's our process, our grieving process. That's where we're there. That's where we're at. Um, so uh, it's just a, a friendly smile, a squeezing of the hand, a hug, an acknowledgement of where they're at. Um, and if need be, like numbers and, and, and direction to people who can help in addition to sit maybe some more uh, uh, grief support. We know we have grief grief counselors that we can refer to people to. Um, um, did I answer that? I think you did. He has a follow up question though. He says, "How do you release that grief in yourself once you've done it for others?" It, it's I don't hold it the same way. I don't hold other people's grief the same way, and and even my grief with what I'm going through with my family members, um, because there's an acknowledgement that in some aspect now of course i don't i don't relay this information to my clients or their families but there's some realization that this is their this is their journey right this is this is this is the the person who's dying and the family this is their journey and and so they need to sort of feel it how they're going to feel it mm -hmm. and it's not really up to me to 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 make them feel better? Am I trying, am I, so for me releasing it, it's just, um, you know, it, 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 I don't internalize this because I kind of see it as them becoming whole. So in a way I'm kind of celebrating mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, sure. So there's a celebration going on inside of me in, in some weird way that, you know, like, oh, this is beautiful. This is, I'm holding space. This is gorgeous. This is, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel so honored to be with you right now and to be with your family and to just, um, it's it, so releasing it. It might just be an afternoon in the garden too. I will say mm. because the grief is, it's very heavy. Mm. It's, it's very heavy. So right. I, I, I'll go out there garden for a little bit, um, do some walking, um, listen to music, listen to podcasts, doing the things that, that I enjoy doing, sewing, mm -hmm. um, talking to other people. But it's just really, for me, it's more of a distraction to get yeah. away from that. Do you see? Or to let it kind sure. of go. And once it's gone from me, then I'm honestly, I sometimes still see my peeps. They come to visit me sometimes. And that it's <laughs> often it. through music. It's often through music. Like, okay. oh, that's a song they like. I remember that, you know. So, uh -huh. But there we go. You know, what, what you I said made total sense to me. You, by the way, I don't think what you said was weird at all. I well, we can understand that. that. But, but right. to me, it's not weird. And, and the reason I say that is when my mom passed, I, I think I was the other one who wasn't surprised. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought she'd been, pass I, I thought she was going to pass nine months before. <laughs> so, I mean, well, see, this is when and, I, and I was okay I, with right. it because I, I, I knew she was done. She was ready to move on. Well, the, the one person in my, in my family, uh, they actually need a, a pacemaker and, uh, and they're very young. Mm -hmm. And I can see this person, um, uh, actually taking themselves out of slowly taking themselves out of this, of this plane of existence. Mm, okay. 
And mm-hmm. I actually, I brought that up to them. Do you, do you want to check out? Well, if this heart, if this pacemaker doesn't work, then yeah, I think I'm pretty much, I'm done. Okay. All right. So there's okay. a clear indication. Right. Right. So knowing that, then, okay, well, I can work with you as a doula. See, I, knowing this, then how do you want your death to look like? How do you want your physical death to look like? Let's talk about that. Okay. What do you want to do before the physical death? It's not just about the transition. It's about what, what leads up to how do you want to die? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to be? Who do you want uh, to be around you? How do you want the environment? Who do you want not want to be around you? What, what things do you have to be, uh, that you have to finish within this lifetime? Who do you need, even if they're not around, even if you don't talk to them, what do you need to, to ask that person Mm. that you, you've been wanting to talk to you? Let's talk about that. So we can start the process and we can, we can, we can get the ball moving because I, I know that this person, I'm who I'm, my family member who I'm talking about is, is been contemplating staying around or not. And Mm. that's really obvious, Mm. right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's really obvious when you can actually physically watch someone over the course of the, a year and a half physically falter and physically fail and, and, sure. and go down. And you can see that. So from because of me knowing what I know about, uh, you know, law of attraction, what what I what I feel, even though we don't have empirical evidence of it to be true, but that we are spirit having a physical experience and that our leaving our physical body is nothing but rejoining with who the whole of who we are and the whole of consciousness. And so it's actually more of a reason to celebrate. But uh, so, so in, in some way, knowing that someone is kind of on their way is, is actually is, is a little bit easier to prepare because then you can prepare. Sure. Yeah. Well, your, yeah, your path sense. is clear at that point. Yeah. That makes, that makes total sense. Mm-hmm. So, that's cool though. I mean, cause it's really clear to us that you have found the path that you want to follow. Oh, that's I, I, that's yeah. great. Yeah. It, it's so, so to me, I, to, with Jeffrey, you know, Jeffrey's question, it, it's, it, it's like a cha- it's a challenge that rejuvenates me and, and brings my, nothing, nothing brings me higher up on my, on my, um, emotional vibrational scale than, than being with someone close to the end of their lives. Mm, nothing, wow. nothing. It's like, really it, it's, 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 rem, it's, it's an honor to be with someone at the end of their, their days. It's mm-hmm. an honor. It's an, it's, 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 it's being there when they take their last breaths. It's something that, I mean, Walt, were you with your, your father when he passed away? I was not. I okay. visited him like, like a day or two before he passed, okay. but no, I wasn't there at the time. No. Okay. Yeah. It's just it, it not, not only to bear witness to the last breaths, to the last moment, um, but to, to, oof, it's gone. It's, it's gone. The energy, the energy is, is remarkable mm-hmm. when you're in a room with, I mean, I, I'm serious. Lights go on and off. Uh, uh, you talk to nurses who, who, who have been with people as they die and things happen. This is, this mm-hmm. is the truth. You can really feel so. There's a lot going on, um, and uh, yeah, that's interesting. I love it. I freaking love, love it. There's, there's a comment also from Miss Doherty, who's in the uh, live stream. She says, "I think it's fascinating that once people pass, they come back to visit in dreams." Oh, and all kinds of other ways, Miss Doherty, not just in dreams. <laughs> 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 that's only one way. <laughs> I mean, it's like sometimes I can, like I said, I could still see him around. Um, but what's really even more fascinating is how they visit the people before the people actually pass. And there's books written about that too. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of reading one. Uh, but, uh, that's where they, they, when you know someone is kind of close is when they say, Oh, I've seen, I saw mom yesterday. She came to visit me or I saw mom in my dreams. And, and you know that they're kind of, they, they kind of come to, whatever capacity to help the person pass. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sure. I find that even more fascinating. I, I, I mean, everybody listening can hear a major life path for Janine B here. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, well, and this is what I want. I, I, I would love to just um, explore other parts of the, of the world 
and their death culture and just be part of that death culture and wow. sort of learn these different because see i see death as joyful but of course i'm not having a a party while someone's passing away but i i yeah. I, I can channel that energy and i can channel that that kind of excitement about that the the end of life and the in the, in the moments and that's how i work with the clients too so i just i ch i sort of channel their grief it's, mm -hmm. it sounds any other person's going to think i'm weird saying this <laughs> <laughs> channeling hey. people other people's grief feeling it in in but feeling it in a different way is entire i i it's i can't tell you it's just what i do it's just natural for me that's one of the Natural. beauties of doing uh, uh, the show LOA today because we have explored so many different things that something like this doesn't knock anybody off their rockers. Like everybody says, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, makes sense. And it's <laughs> just it's oh death, oh death. You know, like that's not a topic that you you know you hear a lot about on and yeah. because it's not people don't think of it as as a happy. But see, I I would like to change mass mass consciousness to really show people that it's actually, it's beautiful. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. you're done with this lifetime. Time to move on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. The next yeah. thing. They better celebrate me when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> now I ain't crying. Yeah. Y'all better be eating some pizza and drinking some tequila shots. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love that. My One of the people I'm talking about, and I'll just be, my, my grandmother, She's she'll be 93 this week, and she told me 10 years ago that her, her brother, uh, said that she would be 93 when she passed, passed away. And she's, she's really super scared. And, oh. and sometimes she's threatened to come back and haunt me when she's, when after she's, <laughs> I said, grandma, you're going to be so happy to be, to be on your, to, uh, to be on your way that you're, 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 you're there's not going to be any meanness or any, any, yeah, anger I guess in your heart. I define haunting. I mean, to me, you know, a visit for some people could be a haunt for me. It could be, Hey, look who's here. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. By the way, Miss like, Doherty had a question for you. She, she wants to know what the name of the book is that you've been reading. Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I'm terrible with names. It's called, um, Oh, maybe I have it here. That's my cousin, I, by the way. Oh, really? Oh, hello That's there. That's super cool. Um, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know because it's done by a doctor and it's like, uh, uh, dreams. Um, it, it's, it's really in a doctor's account of the dreams that his patients have had over the years, uh, the dreams and the sightings that they have before, uh, before death. Because I will tell you, anybody working with people, who die will tell you that this stuff happens. This stuff mm -hmm. is real. This mm -hmm. people will come before, and it could be the Dalai Lama. It could be the, you know, your vision of Jesus. It could be your grandmother. It could be your dog. It could be, but usually when people start seeing these people who, uh, either mean a lot to them in whatever capacity, religious, uh, family, it just means that they're kind of close. I'll, I'll, Bridge, I'll let you know so you can pass the information on to, to oh, her. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Thanks. I want to read it. <laughs> oh, now, now my, now my vibe is way high. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Taya teaches us when, when you work through all the, the stuff that's not, that's been in your way and you get it out of your way and then you start focusing on your dream, you you fly. You, yeah. you fly to a high level that you don't normally find yourself at. And it's a wonderful feeling. So it's abs absolutely. And of course, I don't care what you believe in. I mean, if somebody close to you is, is not doing well, you, you're going to be, you're going to be upset. You're going to mm -hmm. be sad. You're going to be, and that's kind of what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. So a little bit too. And which is different than working with the client because a client, that's not my, you know, my family member who's passed away. Right. So I can right. be a lot more, you know, uh, reserved and, or a lot more, uh, helpful, I think in some way. So, so the challenge for me is to, to be that helpful person because that's part of who I am with people who are passing away and, and yet, uh, be okay with the way I'm feeling about it as well at the same time. So it's like being helpful, being, um, on path, keeping my vibration raised, uh, well, knowing that this person and this person are sick and they're not doing well. But by the way, I have to tell you, there was a little chuckle going on inside of me while you were talking there, because a moment ago you mentioned how there's really no empirical evidence of the spirit. And then you tell, 
th- this wonderful story about how anybody who's ever been in a room with anybody who has <laughs> experiencing all this stuff, I'm saying, well, how much empirical evidence do you find? Anyway? Well, yeah, but sometimes it's like, you know, if you think scientifically, could that be the brain making some kind of way, you know, uh, making it easier for our, our spirit to, or, or for us to pass? But I, I really feel it intrinsically that this is not it. There's no, there's no way that this is it. <laughs> no. no, there's God, no, no way. <laughs> and once we, once we know that, we can, we can hold space for people who are passing away because Absolutely. we know that yeah. this isn't the end. But see, they don't know that. So, uh, this is why I get comments like, wow, you're so calm. Are you Buddhist? <laughs> are you, mm-hmm. are you, yeah. you know, how can you sit and, and not, you know, it's not that I don't cry when, when, when people are sad or when people pass away, but it's just, I know ultimately that, that this is not it for them, man. They're on for the next, they're on to the next thing. We don't know how you, quite how that works. But. I, I got to tell you a little story. I've told this before quite a while back on the podcast, but when my stepmother-in-law passed, so it was my wife's stepmother, um, she passed a couple, three years ago, something like that. And we went to visit her like a day before. And we knew that when she was passing, she knew she was passing. She had deliberately gone off her meds. She was done. Mm. And so this was a chance to say goodbye to her. And I went with Louise. Louise had a nice long chat with her. Um, lasted a good 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. And when we were all done, I had this, this overwhelming feeling to say a particular thing, which I said. Now, you have to understand a little, little bit about Ruth. Ruth um, was very much of an intellectual, um, very intelligent. A um, little bit of a codependence going on there, but you know that that's you know that's kind of a, a human, thing. yeah, you're a human okay. being, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but very strongly intellectual, and and so I teased her on the way out. But the last thing that I said to her was, I gave her this big smile. I said, "You're about to go on a big adventure." That's what I say to my kids <laughs> all the Is time. Is it really? <laughs> oh my god! And the look and on like, her face. No. The look on her face was priceless. It was like, oh. <laughs> and that's literally what you say to yours, to your clients. So I'll just, you know, it's like, I think you're going to go on this big journey. No, dear, I don't have anything planned, but thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. I love that. <laughs> because like I said, she was an intellectual. I could tell from the moment that we left she, the room, her mind was it, working yeah. on that. She was like you know, working it over and playing with it. And all, like, is there really a journey here? Is he pulling my leg? Blah, blah. Uh, she was working through the whole thing, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think that when people are at the end too, they're more, um, they're more open because that's it. This yeah. is it. It's oh, the sure. end. Let's not close, let's not close all options, right? They, they say that, uh, uh, was that war, uh, it, doesn't create atheists or something or what's the saying that like um uh there's no oh there's no atheists in foxholes oh i see yeah, yes yeah. yes so it, it's that like hey this is it you know this is the end but bridge i wanted to ask you something because you were in the hospital right you were working in a hospital so yeah. you were working with people who were coming in who might have been sick mm-hmm. um uh what about you and your experiences with with people and did you have, yeah, what, what about your experiences? I loved working with people. Um, the only reason I stopped working in the hospital was because, like, I got COVID and I just kept getting sick. And, like, I would realized that it was just stress. I feel like that I was putting all on myself. But I loved working with patients. Oh, my God, I loved it. Oh, yeah, you would have someone come up to you that seemed like they were in the grumpiest mood and everyone in the office would be like, oh, she's like, Oh, the worst. She's like, oh, you know, and then if you're just nice to that person, most of the time, you're going to get the niceness back. And if you mm-hmm. don't, you're not going to get the rudeness that you would typically get. You're just not going to because and it's not like, oh, let me just be like so nice to this person. It's like I was just genuinely myself every time. And like sometimes you're going to get the nice people. Sometimes you're not whatever. But you no, know, I loved working with people and just seeing like the interactions with people and you can change people's days. A hundred percent. So, you, like so that you weren't seeing people coming. It. You weren't seeing people coming through like dying or any. You weren't actually working like they had cancer. With we had a lot of people okay. with cancer. With yeah, cancer. Mm-hmm. And did you ever have any of those experiences, like working or, or seeing someone that you just looked at and you just knew that 
they were going to pass away or did you did you did you pick anything up like did you did, did you no see? more or less just i curious. just tried to honestly brighten people's days I have, oh that's yeah. so wonderful yeah i God, just kind of I, I was just up front a lot a lot of the time and so i was just a lot of interaction and that's what i liked i i love people interaction so like yeah, anytime I can make anyone say any type of better, whether it was just because I was in a good mood and they were in a bad mood, and you can change mm-hmm. people's moods so quickly. People say, like, negativity spreads. It does, but so does positivity. Mm-hmm. I know it might not seem like it, but it really does, dude. Like, I mean, it can go a long way. You can be in a really shit mood and meet somebody who's in a really good mood, and they can be nice to you, and it just changes your – you're just like, oh, like, okay. Like, yeah, I can be in that good mood, too. I just have to literally make that conscious choice. Like, do you want to be in a good mood or do you want to be in a bad mood? So, yeah, I feel like that was, like, my main thing. I just loved, like, the whole people interaction thing. And, yeah, that was probably my main takeaway, just the whole – like, I had one patient that would call me, like, seven years after I ever even saw the guy. Oh, wow. That sounds super cool. Yeah, so I know I touched people. So that means, yeah, it meant – that definitely – was more than anything to me with that job. Yeah, mm. for sure. For sure. So you got, you got COVID there. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Yuck. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all good. I'm here now. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> You're good at healing. That's a very good thing. Yeah. That's, Thanks, that's well. wonderful. You apply it to okay. yourself. Now, I want to ask you I, now, this is kind of uh, jumping the gun a little bit because you're still not quite up to the part where you do the big dreaming in Taya, but I imagine you've been thinking about it to some degree. Can mm-hmm. you talk at all about what, what you've been dreaming about, what you've been thinking about? Yeah. So I'm on module 11, but module 10, part of it was the vision board. Right. That's right. So yes. I finally did my vision board and I'm so happy because I wanted to do it for so long. So I finally did. And I was always picturing that I would just do it on like legit, like a little board or whatever. Like, you know, like I used to do my projects on when you're like five or something. No, dude. So I did <laughs> half of I my did. wall. I did half, half of my wall. wall. Yep. Half my oh wall. Oh my God. And it just keeps growing every day. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So, Whoa! Yeah, I mean, there's just new things by halves here. I mean, holy cow! I gotta see this wall, man. You gotta give you us gotta, a picture you sometime. Gotta take a picture. Yeah. I will. I will. I gotta because it this. just keeps growing. Yeah. What 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 are some of the things on yeah. it? Can you talk about what's on it? Yeah. Um. So it kind of starts off with just a picture of me and my husband who are already like happy and like working on ourselves, right? Because that's the mm-hmm. phase we're in now. And then I am, um, I'm going to come upon money because what I'm going to do with that is I want to be a Thai coach and I also want to start my own dance class to raise everyone's vibes in the morning. I want to have a dance class on the beach. Yeah. So I want a beach house. Yes, I do. I am dreaming big. Oh yeah. I want a beach house. I'm going to have it in my backyard on the beach and I'm going to have my own dance, my own dance class. To dance out the stale energy in the morning and bring in all the good vibes for everyone nice. for their whole day. And I also want to be a Thai coach because I owe everything right now. I feel like a lot to Thai. So, you know, yeah, they're um, my biggest things on there. Yeah. I, I, I have more, I obviously. Totally, it's a whole wall. But they're my biggest. I, I can totally <laughs> see you as that dance, yeah. class, a dance class leader. I can totally. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of this. Back in the 1980s, there was a woman who used to, on cable, she had a show where she would walk you through a whole bunch of dance steps and so forth as, as sort of like an on-show exercise yeah. class. And that's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking about. And she did it on a beach, too. So, <laughs> oh, that's I mean, seriously, cool. exactly I what you just that. described. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. That's can, 100% what I want. <laughs> I can, And I can absolutely see you doing that. By the way, oh, her name yes. was Denise Austin, if you're wondering who I'm talking about. I am going to look it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can find her videos. I'm there with like so many of them. And, and she was so infectious with her enthusiasm. It was really great. Oh, I but, love that. Yeah, but I can yeah. just see you doing that. I mean, I wake up in the morning. I'm ready to get that stale energy out and bring in the good vibes for the day. And I feel like why not ha- help myself and help others? That's what I always wanted to do. That's what I want to do. I feel like it would just be perfect. That, oh, that cool. sounds so good. So, and you want to be a tire coach. I didn't know you wanted to be a tire coach. I do. Yeah. That is great. One day, you yeah. Know, I kind of would like to be a tire coach, too. One day. Actually. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to start off with mentorship. Sorry, my, my, my computer is going to die, so I need to plug it in. <laughs> I want to start off as a mentor, though, um, just yeah. to get that practice, you know. 
Same. Which I think yeah. most people do. I think that's yeah. part of the way the program yeah. works, isn't it? You start yeah, off as a mentor, yeah. and you sort of yeah. like a coach in training at that point. Yeah, you got to you got to get that you got to get that training down first, right? Yeah. Um, and you guys are entering at the right time. I mean, I, I had a conversation with David the last time I did a private uh, consult with him, and uh, that we were just talking about where Taya is going, and and my God, they are planning for this massive expansion where they're going to need yeah. lots and lots of coaches. So your timing is absolutely perfect. Couldn't be better. Let me tell you guys. Well, That's and amazing. I think it's time. I think it's a good time too because David's still doing a lot of the, you know, the introduction, uh, you know, bringing people in and, and still doing the meetings because if it gets really, really big, there's probably going to be other people that are going to have to help bring there people There already are in. actually, yeah. So, right. So the fact that we, we, we kind of like got in at the perfect time right before it got bigger. Yes. You know, I, mean, I mean, not that there's anything wrong <laughs> but, with that, but, but we still got happen. that. Yeah. 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 That's exactly got that one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's so cool. You guys so are talking about the... Yeah. There, there, there's two really cool things off your off your wall, but that's a big wall. So tell us something else that's on the yes. wall. Yes, yes. Um, my okay. So the house on the beach because I'm going to have my dance in the backyard. Oh, that's um, right. That's we have, right. yeah, yeah. I know, right? Because my walks in the morning will be so much more glorious Ooh. on the beach. I have Ooh. to say, and it'll be yeah. easier on my knees and on my hips. So I'll be very happy with that. By the way, your cousin um, says I'm, I'm coming to the dance party on the beach because I have my summer <laughs> off. Uh, you better be. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I can totally see you teacher. doing that. I can totally <laughs> see you doing that, Bridge. I can see you right. Being a let's live. Let's raise some bombs in the beginning of the day. Let's do it. That's what we have to do in the beginning of the day, or else what happens? You can just plummet on down and not bring yourself back up. But if you just start up. Chances are you're going to remain up, or at least just if you drop, you're not going to drop as far. That's great. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I ask know. a simple question. Look at the information that you get. This is great. I'm, so I'm excited. This. Yeah, yeah. I, I almost don't dare to ask, but is there anything else you'd want, you'd want to share from the wall? I mean, mm -hmm. um, so, okay, so I want my, um, this one Porsche really bad, right? Ooh. So I did yeah. it like a test thing because I kept seeing them everywhere. And I was like, okay, is this just because I like said I want one and I'm picturing myself in it and blah, 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 whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to like not think about it, but I'm going to still look for them, you know, with that whole like, oh, it's because like I know this car is that why I keep seeing them thing, whatever. So I kept looking for it, but I stopped picturing myself in it, stopped seeing them, stopped seeing them. Once I did the wall. Next day, me and my husband left the house. What did I see? White Porsche, the one that I want as soon as I left. Yeah, I mean, the one I want's gray, but so it was the exact same one. So I was like, oh, my God, it's weird. <laughs> not weird, but, you know. Well, it, it's a little disconcerting things. at first. When you're not used to it happening and, and noticing it, it is a little weird at first. After a while, you kind of get used to it. But it's a fun And then you weird. love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do love it, which is the best yeah. part, of course, because yeah. that's why you're you're attracted to it in the first place. Yeah, wow, that's so great. I love that. I, actually, you got me thinking because I I didn't certainly didn't do a wall. I did like you know a, an electronic vision board on a, on a basically a word document. That was my vision board. Um, but one of the things on my vision board was a private jet, and nice. it comes with a pilot on call at all times. Oh, because I mean. I like the idea of flying, but I really don't want to have to do all the work to become a pilot. No. no. <laughs> yep. I, I'd rather just, you know, have the money on hand to just hire the pilot and say, right? okay, you know, when you're ready, when I'm ready to go, I'm just going to give you a call. You, you fire up the jet and we'll take off. Right. Yes. You know? Which yes. I see as, as, as a great way to be a world traveler, first of all. But, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, let's oh, head yeah. to the Caribbean. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Let's I take also have that on my wall, Jamaica, because we went to our honeymoon there and I want to go there every five years to celebrate our love. Ooh. Cause why not? <laughs> and yeah. Jamaica is awesome. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to Puerto Rico in a few months. Nice. Ooh, nice. Just, yeah. We just, uh, plan a vacation, you know, we were like, forget COVID. We're just, oh, going, we're fun. just going to do it. That's beautiful. Oh, good and, for and you. Do yeah. Yeah. I, I was just thinking my vision boards around here. I, I did it and it just like what you did when you were a kid, you know, the, the white mm -hmm. foam board. And, and I, and I, and I, oh, <laughs> here it is. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. You like, let's see. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay. So here's, you know, the money, okay. and the family and, and health. And um, here it's like an Alzheimer's facility, 
a, a hospice kind of facility for people who are passing away. Wow. And I told my husband, I want to buy him a, a Tesla. You know, well, the model's the not free. important. <laughs> it could be any, it could be any of them. It doesn't I, really I want matter. the Model X actually, but so I understand. Do you? And yeah. then better sleep and, and, you know, travel to different like locations. And, and it was really fun doing this. It was mm-hmm. like, you know, it was just yeah. like being a little kid because I didn't do a lot of that stuff when I was a kid. So it's just kind of. Yeah, me either. Yeah, kind of fun to yeah. take the glue out and just paste and glue. <laughs> and I ruined my table, but that's okay because we're going to get <laughs> That's okay. We're I ruined my Tesla. paint on the wall. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'll, the, the, the Elmer's glue is not coming off my table, <laughs> but we're going to get a Tesla. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, I do. I don't, I do have the Tesla on my, my board, by the way. So we'll share really? that in Oh, in nice. The there. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> God. What were you saying, Bridge? Sorry, I, I interrupted you. I don't even know. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Happens often. We, we, we do that all the time, right? Look, where'd that <laughs> thought go? I know it yeah. was here a moment ago. <laughs> yeah, it comes back sometimes. <laughs> God, this is great, this though. I love, I love sharing all this stuff. I love yeah, sharing I love all these, these dreams. Because I know. When, you, when you share the dreams, well, first of all, you're building up your own vibration. And yes. second of all, you're encouraging everybody else's vibration. Yeah. So And to dream know, big. So we, we've got like 600 people listening to the podcast by the time they're done listening to this thing. You just helped fi- raise the vibration of 600 people. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that is yeah. awesome. That's I always do. I want to help myself and I want to help others. So if we do that, then we did it. <laughs> you're such a teacher. I'm, I can so see that. I can so see that. I'm still imagining her on the beach teaching the class. I mean, that's just perfect. <laughs> oh, I can so see. I can see you do that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. It's really not hard to see because well, no. you're so infectious with your enthusiasm. That's part of it, Absolutely. and you're very you're, you're very easy at expressing your enthusiasm, and that's key for somebody who's leading a class that's supposed to be a high vibe class. So that's why it's so easy for us to see it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's, I'm it's, excited. This is not a stretch. <laughs> Not even close to a stretch. In this my is, brain, it used to be, but thanks to Taya, now I mm-hmm. see it on my wall, and I get to see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> see, it becomes more real every day. Now I'm looking at my wall, going, "Hmm." I know, right? Dream, Do you want to put your dream pictures bigger? out there? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I actually, at first I was like, okay, this is weird. And then I was like, well, the pictures are so big. I can't do it on like a little board anyway. And I didn't have a board. So I was like, screw it, dude. I'll just use the wall. And now I'm just so happy because it's just continuous. I love that thought process. You know, what, you know what reminds me of? Remember the, the Richard Dreyfus character in the, uh, uh, what was that? Um, you know, the, the, the aliens, uh, oh, help me out here. When he does the oh. potatoes, when yeah. he's working with the potatoes and he makes the, 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 the mountain out of the potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, close encounters of the close third time. Yes, that's and it. he, and he, <laughs> and he takes it and he puts it in the middle of the table and he gets all the, if you haven't seen that bridge, you have to see it. Yeah. When he gets it in the middle of the, and, <laughs> and, and he's got all the potatoes inspiring. and he gets all the mashed potatoes and he builds mm-hmm. like, you know, the, it, it, that kind of was, that that reminds me of that. <laughs> you, Bridge. I'm building my mashed potatoes. <laughs> you're, yeah, big, you're, you're making it big. Yeah. If, if if you haven't seen it, he's actually kind of manic the way he does it. It's like it, it, because he's like driven by this internal vision, and and he can't figure out how to make sense out of it. So that's why he's modeling to try to right, make sense right. out of his vision. So it's that's it's a little bit dysfunctional in that sense, but it's yeah, also it kind is. of wild to see. The only reason mine to. wasn't dysfunctional, thank God, is because my husband, I, I don't even know how to print pictures out. I'm like, uh, I need your help. So thank God he helps me with all that. Oh, that is so awesome. So you have like a car that's like that big. My car? Yeah, yeah like on the wall. Of the picture. Is it, is it like a, oh. is, is it like, like the whole, it is, is it huge. Can I turn this? Oh, she's going to show us. <laughs> We're going to see. Okay, Meanwhile, her... 600 podcast listeners are saying, but wait, I don't see an image here. There's Sorry. no video on Sorry, this. this well, for the YouTubers, look on man. YouTube or on the Facebook page. You'll be able to see it. Oh, oh my God, look, look, at, look that. at this wall. Oh, oh, I love wow. it. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. She gets specific about her cars. Holy so super cow. cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice job there, kiddo. Nice job. 
All right. Well, this has been wonderful. I think we're all pretty high vibe at this point. So definitely mission accomplished. Thank you. Oh, so thank you for that. sharing guys. Really, really good. Thank you. Live streamers. And thank you, especially to our podcast listeners everywhere. We'll see you all next time here on LOA today. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. guys. 